Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving deep into one of the most powerful algorithms in AI and game development that is Monte Carlo Research or MCTS for short. MCTS is a decision making algorithm used in games like Go, says, and even simulations. It cleverly balances two competing goals that is exploration and exploitation. Exploration means trying out new moves and exploitation means is sticking to what seems to work best so it basically tries up new moves and also sticks to what seems to work best so that's the speciality of this algorithm so don't worry we will understand everything clearly with example the mcts algorithm follows four main steps that is selection expansion simulation and then back propagation all these four steps are repeated x times where x is the number of iterations you want the algorithm to run so the first one is the selection step in the selection phase we move from the root node down the tree selecting child nodes one by one this selection is guided by a formula called ucv1 mm. that is upper confidence bound which helps balance exploration and exploitation we will dive into the ucv1 formula and its parameters shortly so basically we are selecting nodes one by one using the ucb1 formula in the selection step then comes expansion once we reach a node that has unvisited children then we expand it suppose this one has unvisited children then we expand this node so this is the new node so expansion means basically we are adding a new node to represent unexplored game states or actions after the expansion step then comes simulation also called a rollout from the newly expanded node we simulate the game forward using a random or default policy until we reach a terminal state unlike the selection step where we use the ucv1 formula to choose nodes in the rollout step we simply follow random or heuristic based moves until we reach a terminal node so a terminal node is a state where the game ends once the terminal state is reached it returns a numerical reward like plus one for a win zero for a draw minus one for a loss which is then used in the next step that is back propagation the final one is the back propagation step uh, we take the result of the simulation and back propagate it up the tree that means we update the values like total reward and visit count of all the nodes in the path from the expanded node back to the root so from the expanded node back to the root so there's the back propagation step this entire four step process is repeated many times allowing the tree to grow and prioritize better moves over time all right there's the theory now let's jump into an example so you can see it in action trust me it will all make sense so you are given a snapshot of a mcts in progress so there's a snapshot starting from this state perform two additional rollouts with the terminal values 15 and 75 so the terminal values are 15 and 75 we need to perform two additional rollouts if a random choice is needed at any point always prefer the right node so there's the question so we will solve this example and everything will be clear let's begin with the first rollout which will return a terminal value of 15 so step one is the selection step the selection step is done using this formula ucb1 that is ti by ni where uh, ti is the total value of node si and ni is the number of times node si was visited then c is a constant that is two then capital n is the number of total visits of the parent node so in the selection is selection from s0 s0 is the root node so there is two of uh, two action that can be taken that is a1 and a2 so we need to select either s1 or s2 using the formula ucb1 so if we calculate calculate the ucb1 uh, for s1 so it is 60 by 2 60 is t1 so it is given 60 it is 2 so there is 60 by 2 then the parent node of s1 that is s0 it has uh, n value equal 3 so here the capital n is 3 that is ln3 
so ucb1 of s1 becomes 31.48 and it is 18 by 1 for s2 and it is also ln3 and it is 1 so for s2 ucb1 value becomes 20.096 so we are selecting s1 as it, it has higher ucb1 value so s1 is selected then comes expansion why because S1 has unvisited children. So if you see carefully, you will see that S1 has two children that is S3 and S4. S3 hasn't visited yet. That's why N is 0 for S3. So we will expand S1. So since S1 has unvisited children, we expand it by adding a new child, child node that is S3. Now we will perform simulation or rollout. So from S3, we, uh, we simulate a random move leading to a terminal state with value 15. So the terminal state will return the value 15 for rollout 1. So it will return 15. Then the final step is the back propagation step. So the back propagation state will update all the value from S3, then S1, then S0. So S3 will become 15 and the number of visits will increase by one it was previously zero for s3 and total value is 15 and s1 will become s1 was 60 uh, for s1 t1 was 60 here it is t1 was 60 for s1 and n1 was 2 so s t1 will increase by 15 so it will become uh, 75 and n1 will number of visit will increase by one so it will become three in the same way for s0 it was 83 so it will become 98 and the number of visit will increase by one and it will it will be four so there's the final value after the rollout one then comes rollout two in the same way we, we will select from s0 so from s0 we will select either s1 or s2 so we will calculate the ucb1 value for s1 and s2 so uh, here uh, we will select again S1 because again we will we are getting higher UCB1 value for S for S1. So here T1 is 75, N1 is 3, and 18 1, and there's the parent. Parents node N is 4. There is number of visits. So we are selecting S1, and if you see uh, see carefully, you will find that S1 has no unvisited children. So that's why we, we will again use the ucb1 formula to select another node so we will calculate ucb for s3 and s4 so here in capital n is 3 because it is the parent node for s3 and s4 so parent node is s1 and s1 has n value equal 3 so we will use capital n equal 3 so if we calculate ucb1 for s3 and s4 uh, you can see that s4 has higher ucb1 value that's why we are selecting s4 then s4 has unvisited children both s5 and s6 hasn't visited yet so we can choose any of the two but in the question it is said if a random choice is needed at any point always prefer the right node so it is saying to prefer the right node that's why we will choose the right one so in the expansion step we are select we are expanding s4 and choosing s6 that's the right children of the s4 then comes simulation or rollout so we will perform rollout from s6 and the second rollout is returning 75 so now we back propagate back propagate so back propagate the value 75 from s6 then s4 then s1 then s0 s6 s4 s4 then s1 then s0 now we will update the value again t6 was 0 and n6 was also 0 so it will become 75 and 1 t4 was 40 so it will become 115 and 4 was 1 it will become 2 in this way we are adding 75 with t and we are adding increasing 
n values by 1 so there's the updated p and n values after rollout 2 it means that tree has now adjusted its understanding based on two more simulations and it is starting to favor the paths with higher average rewards as more rollouts happen the mcds algorithm will continue to refine its strategy learning the optimal moves over time by the way in the full blog post i have also answered some common questions like the rollout step follows which algorithm then what is a terminal node then what if no unvisited nodes exist so if all possible actions from a node have already been visited then expansion is skipped as there is no unvisited nodes exist then what if the node is a terminal state so if during selection all children have been visited and the current node is a terminal state then we skip both expansion and simulation we directly back propagate the terminal reward so be sure to check it out if you want the full breakdown images formulas and more detailed walkthroughs so that's it for today if this helped you understand mct is better don't forget to like subscribe and let me know in the comments what topic you want next